mom's dad's boys and girls today we just want to engage in some fun games and physical activities i am sure that somewhere around the house you will be able to find different things to use to make this a memorable day today we are going to have fun fun and more fun everybody is invited to join in Big, small, young and old, so don't be shy. We are going to start off with a warm-up game called Simon Says. Then we are going to participate in a few ball games. And don't worry if there is no ball around the house, because you are going to use your imagination and and your creativity to make your own ball. In closing, we are going to end off with a cooling down exercise. So are you all excited and ready to go? Are we ready everybody? Let the fun begin! Activity 1 To get warmed up boys and girls, we are going to play the game Simon Says. And this is how you play it. Choose one person to be Simon. He or she must give an instruction. And the rest of you must do what Simon is saying. But you must only do the activity if it starts with the words Simon says. If you do not hear the words Simon says, before the instruction is given and you do it, you are going to be out and the rest can continue playing the game. So I want you to listen carefully before you do the instruction because it must say Simon says. I'm sure you had loads of fun playing this game and while you were playing the game Simon says you learned quite a lot you learned that it is important to be able to play with others you also learn that you mu there must be a leader and you cannot be the leader all the time you also learn to wait your turn and others must also have a turn to play. And then very importantly, you also developed your listening skills, concentration span, and you developed physically. Well done, everybody! Activity 2 For our second activity, we are going to play some ball games. Don't think about not having a ball around because you can make your own ball with paper or anything else you can find around the house. The first game that we are going to play is Duck, Duck, Goose. And how do we play this game? Everybody sit in a circle. One person will have the ball and have to put it behind someone else's back. You walk around the circle or you run around the circle. You touch each person's head and you say duck or you say goose. If you say duck, things can continue as it is. But when you say goose, the person with the ball must try to catch you before you get to that person's place. If that person catches you, you must go and sit in the middle and then that person must take a chance to be the leader. Our second game is called Silent Ball. Each person must have a ball and in the group, you move away from each other. You toss the ball up 
and down, forward, any way you want. If you drop the ball, you are going to be out. If you make a bad pass, if you want to pass the ball to your friend, you're also going to be out. If you make a noise, boys and girls, you are also going to be out. Because that is why the name of this game is Silent Ball. You must not make a noise while you are playing this game. And the last person who still stands with the ball in the hand is the winner. So let's go and play these two games. Activity two. For our second activity, we are going to play some ball games. Don't think about not having a ball around because you can make your own ball with paper or anything else you can find around the house. The first game that we are going to play is Duck, Duck, Goose. And how do we play this game? Everybody sit in a circle. One person will have the ball and have to put it behind someone else's back. You walk around the circle or you run around the circle. You touch each person's head and you say duck or you say goose. If you say duck, things can continue as it is. But when you say goose, the person with the ball must try to catch you before you get to that person's place. If that person catches you, you must go and sit in the middle and then that person must take a chance to be the leader. Our second game is called Silent Ball. Each person must have a ball and in the group, you move away from each other. You toss the ball up and down, forward, any way you want. If you drop the ball, you are going to be out. If you make a bad pass, if you want to pass the ball to your friend, you're also going to be out. If you make a noise, boys and girls, you are also going to be out because that is why the name of this game is Silent Ball. You must not make a noise while you are playing this game. And the last person who still stands with the ball in the hand is the winner. So let's go and play these two games. I am sure you all enjoyed the game and you learned about waiting your turn, moving around the circle from left to right and at the same time you also developed your memory skills because you had to remember where your friend was sitting. So besides having fun, you also learned a lot through play. And what did you learn by playing the silent ball game? You learned to concentrate. You learned to develop your eye-hand coordination as well as obeying the rules of the game. So well done, boys and girls. You did great. Activity 3. Now we are going to cool down our bodies. I want you to put down your ball, move away from your friend, make some space for yourself and then while standing up, move your legs away from each other, slowly bend over and touch your toes. Then you come up slowly, slowly, slowly. You stand up and you breathe in and out. 
You breathe in and out. And then you relax. For more fun activities, I'm sure that nothing beats a family activity. So let's do this. Click at the bottom and enjoy much more exciting and fun activities with your family. Until next time, boys and girls. Enjoy. Goodbye.